Happy Pervita Tuesday. What's up, guys? It's Cody with Pervita Pythons. This week we're doing a how to video. Didn't really plan on making this how to video, but uh, here we are. Little backstory. So, Michaela's parents were in town last Sunday, and I come in, and like you guys know, we've been trying to get Bastille to eat. If you don't know, I'll go into that a little bit later in the video. Anyway, so I came in here at night, tried to feed her ASF from the top rack, and I, so I didn't want to disturb her, so I closed the bin and I come and I just leave. Next morning, we're getting ready for church, and uh, I come in here to check, not on her, just to, I don't know, just check, I guess. And I noticed that the ASF drawer is open, all of them are out. I'm like, oh my goodness. I, that's the first time it's ever happened to where I forgot to close a drawer. Eight adult ASFs, all gone. Uh, luckily, they were all in this room except for one and crawled and got into the closet, so I'm like, okay. We round all those up within about an hour, thankfully. I'm looking at all the cords around, no damage is really done. We have boxes in here and some food bags, so. They'd gotten into that and we were missing about three of them and I noticed uh you know <laughs> pardon the dust but when these rats are in here this is a big reason I want these rats out of here too is the dust they create uh this needed a good wipe down so this all kind of worked out but I noticed down here on the bottom that there was these little paw prints and I was like oh my goodness and I look on the back side and this I don't know if you guys have been paying attention but this has been back in this corner there's a bunch of ASFs back there like on the back side of the tub and so I go and look, and down here at the bottom, it's been chewed through this part, but not through what's on the inner side. And I check the thermostat, I like played with a little bit. I was being careful, no sparks or anything. Thermostat was reading fine, so I was like, okay, whew, dodged a bullet there. Get all ASFs up. Anyway, a day or so passes, I come in here, and this thermostat is reading like 76 degrees, just room temp. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, what's going on. I jiggle it down there and a spark flies up. So I'm like, oh my goodness, dodged another bullet. The house didn't burn down. Uh, so long story short, we had to move all of our snakes into the small tub. Some of them got their own, some I had to cohabitate. Uh, not ideal, but hey, you got to do what you got to do, especially with having snakes that are growing follicles and very close to bee producing eggs and having, having an eating issue. So we had to keep that heat on them. Luckily, these came in a couple days. So we're gonna go ahead and get down to that. That's the backstory, a little bit of long-winded, but that's how we got to where we're at now. So uh, we actually got an extra one uh, just in case that happens again. So if hopefully that never happens again, uh, hopefully we get these guys out of here very soon. It's a kind of a double-edged sword. Like I want to get these outside, but our rat business has never been like stronger. I have somebody new calling me for rats or ASFs every day, which is awesome. It means the community around us is growing as far as reptile goes. Reptiles go. Just been one of my big goals is trying to, you know, be that guy in the community that can supply that uh, for the hobby. So I love it, but I really want these guys to get outside. Anyway, we got an extra one in case that ever happens again. As you can see, I already have a few set up. So I uh, like the title of the video. This is a Vision V70 tub, and I actually have my thermostat here. Just pinned down if we get a little look at that. Uh, right here under the sixth one, so it kind of hopefully mediates the whole way. And so we'll take this, we'll come up, if you wanna come over here. No, you gotta get the metal. Yeah, come from this side. So we'll come up here, and these racks are pretty cool. They have these grooves in them. So you just take them, and you can contort this any way you want. You can come like here, wrap it all around, zigzag it, or whatever you wanna do. We're just doing the regular rectangle shape. We're going all the way up, and this is nice. It keeps it nice and constrained in there. Wrap it around so that this back third quarter or third quarter <laughs> back third of the tub is the heat spot so when you get to here you just want to latch over it here and as you can see let me set it up real quick just this little spot if i slide the tub back don't worry about that it doesn't hit that it actually never touches a cord this will obviously be out of the way but i'm just showing you here and here that's good so you just do the same thing over the other side once you Pop over that lip right there. All these little grooves, as you can see, and like I said, you can do any shape you want to do, zigzag, spell your name, I don't care. And uh, it's really easy, simple. I love this stuff right here. It's easier than uh, heat tape to do. So once you get over here, you just want to go up the next level, leave yourself a little slack so it doesn't pop out, and then repeat the same process right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then I'm gonna come and wrap up the video, tell you all a little bit about what's going on over here, and then we'll send you on your way. All right, guys, we're gonna come over here and check this out. Just finished up, about to put all the toes back in place. Just gonna give you guys a little overlook. Like I said, you just weave it through there, pop it over the lip, weave it, drop it down, and do the same exact thing all the way down. This is a 52 foot cable for the Vision 70. I believe there's 11 here. 
Yep, 11, so that'll fit perfectly. Got it plugged up to the thermostat, and then we have our probe right here on the sixth one, just to kind of try to keep it even all the way throughout. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that up real quick, slide all these back. If you wanna just show them this real quick too. See so you guys, as I pull all these, this is obviously the back of the rack. As I pull all these tubs, you can see that none of this is touching the actual tubs themselves, so it's in a really good safe spot. Get all these pulled up here. All right guys, got the thermostat set up. It's calming up, gonna move all those girls and Pepe and Trojan back over into here. And uh, I'm sure they'll be happy to do that. They've been a little cramped. Not super, super bad if you wanna check down here. We've had, there's Bastille. She's actually looking pretty good, guys. I know we, I don't think we showed her to y'all last time, but as you can see, I, I feel confident enough to show you guys. She definitely has lost some body weight, but she's not extremely, extremely skinny. Um, you know, you can see that she does have the triangle back and that's just from losing weight. Um, we will be giving you guys an update on her soon. If you don't know her story right now is that she's just been struggling to eat for us. Uh, she's regurged about four times in the last, um, couple months. So a couple of those times where I just fed her too quick you know i waited like two weeks and most people are saying three weeks to a month but yeah guys we're gonna do an update video with her soon kind of letting you guys know uh what how she's been and what our experience has been like trying to treat whatever's going on um we don't know if it's a sickness or just a uh, husbandry thing but we're really trying to dial it in everybody else is doing great so i don't think it's husbandry i think it's something she's dealing with but we've been reaching out to some people so we're trying to get that squared away uh some things that have been cool that have been happening over here uh is these two were locked earlier and this is Benji, our banana inchy clown. And then this is Blanca, our chocolate spot nose pastel leopard lesser het clown girl. They were locked up, but she's not growing follicles, but maybe she'll retain that sperm and who knows, because that could be some really cool clown babies. But everybody else is doing good. We have Trojan paired with Cleo Spectra right now for their last pairing. So we're super excited about that. Didn't post any shorts this week. I've been really busy at my other job and we're trying to start another endeavor. Plus do all this. The floor looks pretty pretty rough right now because we just got done cleaning the rats out. So that always has a mess. Going to clean that up here in a minute. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Come back next week for some more cool videos. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. We're above 600 subscribers. So yeah, guys, we're steady climbing up in subscribers. Really appreciate you guys. 700 is the next mark we're going to go for, about 95 away. So really appreciate you guys. Come back next week, and we'll see you then. Have a great week. Peace.